Orm hasn't been great. Not really a surprise. Newly promoted, remember. But we have advanced to the fourth round of the Carabao Cup, which is all the board expected. So that'll be a positive. We've got highlights coming up from the fourth round match against Burnley. And then we'll be playing Bristol City today. We're going to dive into a couple of other things that we want to look at. So let's roll the intro and get into the match. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21, our journeyman save. This is episode 11 with Club 3 Leicester City, and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. If you are, smash that like button for me, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date for daily Football Manager content here on the channel, Monday through Saturday. Sunday's the only day I take off. I do a lot of recording and rendering on that day. Do want to give a quick shout out. Richard Boyd, welcome to the channel. Cavalier Roy, welcome to the channel. And Lieutenant Thumper, welcome to the channel. Uh, two subscribers in a one hour period. That's a huge achievement for my channel. Uh, we're also on a great run of form uh, with our videos with 10 or more views. That's been a big step up recently. So. Thank you to you guys so much, and gals, if you're out there. Uh, much appreciated. I do thank you very much. Uh, one of the people, one of you guys asked me in the, uh, in the comments of one of the older videos to take a look at the job center, just what jobs were available. So these are the available head coaching jobs right now. Uh, Couple of a championship, Ukrainian first league, some League One, Brighton, Brighton down in League One, <laughs> Southampton down in League One, uh, Bolton in League Two. So there's your available jobs. Uh, Denmark, Albania available on the national level. Brighton probably the biggest job in there. Uh, Paris Football Club in League Two. That would be an interesting job, maybe. Shrewsbury up into the championship. So I'm not looking for a job, just a reminder. And I, th I think I mentioned this last episode. Uh, Gunther Firth from the Bundesliga had offered us a job interview. And Shatterow, I think that's what it is. I don't know if you have to be able to spell with the little umlauts and highlights. And, oh, accent marks. There it is, Shatterow. So they're currently in fifth position. Uh, they offered us a job, uh, currently state-of-the-art, continental, secure finances, no fierce rivals. And you can take a look. They were mostly League 2 over the last, uh, most of the last decade, got up into League 1, and had a couple of high finishes. But I did take a look at the club. They hadn't won anything in 17 seasons and were... An interesting club. I like the kits too. Uh, but, you know, and I've never even heard of them, so I don't know where they are in real life. Well, I'm not going to waste time going to look at it. Uh, but anyway, would have thought about them, but I, I'm not at a point where I want to switch jobs. Uh, also, I wanted to jump in and look at Romain. So remember we had talked about his consistency being a possible issue. So I want to jump in. He's played a lot for us this year. Uh, let's see. Stoke was the season opener. So a 6-3, sixes, and back up into the sevens. So maybe we are seeing that there is some validity to that concept now on the flip side we also have to think we're playing against higher quality competition and what is his current playing currently playing close to his full potential the con is he's a leading player for most championships 
So really not even a premier level player, and yet he's one of the best players at the club, if not, you know, if not arguably the best player currently, uh, right on par with everybody else up there, Menza, Mateus, Graves, and Kowalski. So anyway, just uh, thought I would throw that out there for those of you wanting to kind of keep track. I'm interested in kind of looking at that ability, but the other thing I'm noticing, 11 starts, only one goal, and four assists. So he has really been struggling there. Do we maybe bring in Jasson and give him an opportunity? Currently operating at the championship level, so he's no worse than Romain, but you can see consistency is an issue for him as well. So for whatever that's worth, uh, today we're going to be playing, as I said, we're going to have highlights from Burnley in the Carabao Cup, and then we'll play Bristol City. Let me knock out the Burnley match, and we'll be right back with highlights from them. We played pretty well in this one. Uh, they had more shots. We had a slightly more possession. And you can see we're in the 82nd minute, and Henson's puts one in from the back post off the set piece. And in just minutes later, in the 86th minute, laid off today in the midfield, he pings one from outside the box and does a cartwheel in celebration. 2-0 advantage. Graves into the attack. Bounces it off the keeper. A couple of deflections. Romain is in there. He gives a cartwheel. It's 3-0 in the 88th minute. Day. Bringing up the attack again, lays it back. Gerber from the edge of the box. That's our crossover player from our DeGraff Shap save. Uh, that first crossover player I've ever signed. He scores to make it 4-0 before a through ball to Davies makes it 4-1. All the goals coming in about a six-minute span there. Well, from the 82nd to the 94th, so a 12-minute span. But we do get a fourth-round win. That is good. Gerber, one assist, seven tackles. I am going to tell him his defense was top-notch. And I think he has a lot of upside. And if we can get him developing a little bit, he is going to be a regular in our starting 11 for quite some time, I think. But uh, we'll find that out. Let's get on to Bristol City. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back a little early. We do have the quarterfinal draw, so let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Arsenal, MK Dons, West Brom, Chelsea, Man United, Newcastle, and West Ham. So all premiered sides with the exception of MK Dons. By the way, somebody let me know in the comments. I've heard some, some comments over the last couple of years about MK Dons not being very well respected in uh in football and you know circles uh what's the deal with them i don't i don't know enough about the club's history i think it has something to do with wimbledon maybe i'm misunder misunderstanding that or misremembering but let me know in the comments what the deal is i'm just curious all right we are going to oh man well i guess there's the end of our uh, carabao cup run against chelsea that's not going to be very pleasant it will be a home match, so that's good. Oh, and Jordan Menza hurt for the second time this year, a hip injury. I'm going to send him off. He'll be out three months. Wow. That is, that's a big blow because he's one of our better players. And I like the way he cuts in from that wing position. So, Pigeon Henson's. Mikatan, Cernan, Esser. We maybe give Esser a go out there. Maybe. Got five star potential. He's definitely, and, you know, Mikatan and Cernan are strikers. So maybe Essen is the guy that we give a crack out there. See if he can stand up to it. Is Bristol City where we want to bring that in against a upper half table team? Guess we'll have to decide. Ensigns does look like he passed his fitness. 
All right, we're going to go with given in goal. Actually, I do want to one more move here. All right, given in goal, Rush on the left, Gerber, Ramsey in the mid, Clark on the right, Nagami and Day. You know what? I'm going to put Mateus back. Let's give both of our big passers, Mateus and Nagami. Chasson on the left, Romain switches over to the right, Cernan and Graves up top. I'm sure Essen will get a match. We'll, we'll have to give him a couple of starts with uh, this injury. Let's get into it. Give him an early shout of encouragement. Early minutes. Bristol with the first highlight. Clark heads it out. Romaine cannot get to the ball. We're on the back foot here. All right. Bit of a defensive play. Good. Romaine takes the outlet pass from Gibbons. Down into the attack zone. Squared in. And... Too much defense in there. Buyer on the counter for Bristol. They get right through the midfield and rush with a professional foul as he just got blown by. There's a header that goes over. So three shots, still looking for our first on target. Clark lumps it right into Carpenter's hands. Keeper wasn't really even challenged there. Gami, good job. There's Mateus. I think Mateus, he's really struggled to find form. I think he's going to be one of these guys that before we see the best of him, he's going to have to really finish his language course. That's, and that is a thing. Oh, big run by Chasson, who nets it. And his first goal of the season. I want to say that might be his first goal for the club. Possibly not. It didn't say it. I was looking down there for it. But a good ball out by Ramsey. Chasson makes the run and then goes near post. I think he caught Carpenter leaning to the left. Carpenter's got to be a little upset about that. Encourage the team again. Romain, and it's a header at the near post. Melvin Gerver, his second goal of the season. His first goal came from a big shot outside the box, uh, so not off of a set piece. That was the first set piece goal that we've seen from him. So very good. We're out to a 2-0 advantage. Clark, long throw. Carpenter, easy save again. Oh, we got to do a little bit better. He lumps it. Rush heads it, but nobody's there to haul it in. Click on header. Gerber chases it down. I'm really, you know, give me your thoughts uh, down below. When you have a young player like Gerber is here, I've heard that you know, I think they need to develop, play to develop, but that a lot of times they need to, oh, there's a, another goal by Chasson, his second of the season. Not didn't see exactly how he got the ball. I saw a pass out to him, but was it a true pass or a deflection? Nagami, oh, Nagami picked it out, and there's Nagami's 18 passing, I believe, coming into play. And that was started by Mateus, the uh, the other big passer. And do we have a penalty here? No, outside the box. Romain. Oh, it's saved. Ramsey. Ramsey got a foot on it, but could not get it past a defender. Oh, my goodness. We should have been looking at 4 nothing there. Oh, that was a bad break. Yeah, saw looking really good, an 8.4 rating, two goals. But going back to that thought, I had seen something, uh, and it said that for players to develop, they, they develop in training. I don't know if that means they do not develop by playing. That seems, that doesn't make sense to me. But uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Nagami's a little tired. He'll be one of the first guys off. But we are up 3-0.
Let's give him some praise. Looks like everybody's playing pretty well. Romaine's at a 7-9, up to an 8 in this game. We're going to let these guys run a little deeper. And there's Nogami going into the red in the 72nd minute. So we're going to pull him off for wheel. Yep. And do we want to make another move here? How about Rush on a yellow, and we'll bring in Kowalski for him. 3 nothing advantage, 14 shots to 3, so we've actually played pretty well here. That one's headed out. Mateus, back to wheel. It's squared in. I think that might have been an own goal. Yep. Gareth Rogerson, own goal. That was a good cross right at the edge of the six, though. And I think we had a lot of players lined up. Let's see him get into the attack, and then we'll pause it right there. So you've got Ro Romain, Graves coming in, Cernan's coming in right behind Breton, and Rogerson licks it away. Unlucky break for him. They had two defenders in there. And I think uh, we're going to make our third sub here with Romaine. We'll bring Mikatin in out there on the edge. And you know what? Let's uh, let's drop Cernan back there. Put the fresher legs up top for the strike force. See what that does. Cernan has definitely given us more goals, which has put him into the starting lineup. And there's a beautiful goal from Graves. Possibly offsides. Yep, the side judge is there. I think they're going to look at it at VAR, and they're going to call that one back. But that was a beautiful volley, although it doesn't count. But he did a good job. Yep, he was just a step off, but he picked that ball, got the volley on it, really turned those hips to get it, get it up. But that's real solid. A 4 nothing lead, final minutes. We've got to be happy with it. Yeah, saw with a big game. He's certainly going to be bucking for playing time. Wow. I'm going to have to look at him and see. Really special. We're going to have to see where, you know, if he can play on that right side. So he can only play left. He's left-footed. I guess that means we could put him on the right. And look at his pace, man. He is just so good. He looks really good. I don't know. Crystal Palace fires their manager. Yeah, I saw two goals. Say that was a great job for him. McManus looking at Jake Rush. Let's finish out the day. We'll take a look at the standings as they currently sit. Looks like we're up into 12th position. We were down in, I think, 16th earlier in the season. Uh, we got, and then we won the next match, and we were up into 9th. So that was kind of crazy. Uh, wanted to go back and show you guys since last match. 3-3 uh, three, three draw with uh, Arsenal. Uh, you can see the goal scores there. Cardiff, a 3-2 victory. Uh, Eric Graves with the hat trick. Brentford, we beat 3-1 in the Carabao Cup. Cernan with a brace. 3-3 uh, three, three draw, Mateus with his first goal for the club, Nagami and Cernan another goal, uh, Chelsea beat us 3-2, Cernan and Gomez Santos uh, with the goals, Cernan and McNeil with goals in the draw with Middlesbrough, and then we that gets you guys caught up there. Cernan scored an opening minute goal against West Ham as well. So he's in a good run of form, taking a look for statistic purposes. Eight goals for Graves, seven for Cernan. I think he has locked himself back into that starting role. Nothing to complain about there. Mikatin is on two goals and only a 1.56 XG, and that's from 11 starts. So Cernan definitely putting his chances in. Menza, three goals, two assists, and Romain, two goals, up to six assists. So starting to see a little more spark out of him. And a 736 getting progressively better over his last five. 
going to be a really hard decision. As you can see, uh, Chasson, very few starts, but he made them count. So we may have to look at him real hard as well. We will see you guys probably, let's come back for Chelsea. So Newcastle highlights Chelsea in the quarterfinals. And uh, we'll do that next episode. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, leave some comments below. And don't forget, daily football manager content, Monday through Saturdays, 8 a.m. Central Time here in the States, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, London time, for anybody over in Europe to judge off of that. And let me know, is that being rude? Should I, should I go try to give you guys, instead of London time, give you Greenwich Mean Time or something? I don't know what's easiest for you guys over there, but uh, let me know and I'll try to change. London is kind of where I go to because I know that's six hours because that's the same time zone that Leeds plays in. So I'm always used to that six hour adjustment. Thanks for dropping by guys. Hope to see you next episode. We'll see you. Bye.